Business owners worry violence like this will keep people away from Benson. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. Gunfire hit a woman outside a bar near 67, 62nd in Maple. She survived, but the shooter escaped. KTV News Watch 7, Sarah Feely's live with tonight's big story. Sarah. An Omaha City Councilman says this pattern of violence is concerning, and because of it, he says Omaha police will increase patrols through Benson. An ambulance rushes 39 year old Talia Irvin away from Benson after she's shot outside a bar at 62nd and Maple. Police say a fight broke out at bar close, then gunfire. Officers search for evidence, hoping it will lead to whoever pulled the trigger early Sunday. Nearby businesses say the violence has already slowed down a normally busy area. Today it's so slow because of this. I bet no one wants to come out because it scares. It scares people. Michaela Wilson says they're proud of what they've done to revitalize the area and don't want to see it ruined. These people came out here last night thinking they were going to have a fun time and an innocent girl just got shot. It will just scare people away from Benson. This shooting marks the third incident in as many months at 62nd and Maple, nearly all around closing times. A man was shot to death outside the waiting room in August. A woman was stabbed outside 1912 last month, and now Sunday's shooting also outside 1912. We're going to increase police patrols, especially in the evenings, because we're not going to tolerate this kind of activity in Benson. City Councilman Pete Festerson represents Benson. He says this shouldn't keep people from coming out. We've had so much success here, and the business owners are so proud of what's going on here and we know the future is bright with a 15 million dollar project coming. He says the business district is also adopting new lighting and security standards and he says Benson is safe. These incidents aren't going to define Benson. We're going to be successful for a long time in the future. There is a $10,000 Crime Stoppers reward in this case. If you know anything, call them at 402-444-STOP. You never give your name. Reporting live in Benson, Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.